What's up everybody? Today I'm going to show you guys how to install Clipper on an x86 machine. But what does that even mean? So you have a 3D printer, you want to install Clipper on it. Why? Because it's awesome. But you don't want to buy a Raspberry Pi. You don't have a Raspberry Pi, you don't want to purchase one, you don't want to buy an orange, banana, onion, or any of those pies. You have something like one of these maybe. This right here is just a mini PC, or let's say you have an old PC laying around that you're not using, you can install it on that, or a virtual machine. So there's multiple ways you can do this, but we're gonna show you the process step-by-step step on how to do this and get it installed where you can install Clipper on there and not have to go and purchase another device. So let's get right to it. Don't forget to hit the like button for me, hit the subscribe button for me, helps the channel out a lot. Let's do it. For the first step, we're gonna download Rufus if you don't already have it. So go to the link in the description of this video and download Rufus. Once you have that downloaded, you can install it and open it up. And once it's open, this is what it's gonna look like. So then you also wanna download the link that I've added in the description for Debian. And once you have that, you can actually just drag it and drop it over here, or you can hit this here and you can select it on your file system. Either way works just like that. And select your drive for your USB drive and you're gonna hit start. What that's gonna do is put this image onto that flash drive for you so you'll be ready to go. And once you have that done, we're gonna put the flash drive into your mini PC or your virtual machine or whatever it is that you're running. Basically, we're gonna have a flash drive with an image on it now. Or whatever it is for your particular device, you're gonna go over to boot. You're gonna select the boot option one. So it's gonna be the first thing that it tries to boot from. Once you have that selected, go over and hit save, configuration, and exit. Now you can put your USB drive in and fire it up. Once it boots up here, you can select graphical install. It's gonna come up here, you're gonna select your language, hit continue, select your location, hit continue, and then select your language again, hit continue, and let it do its installation process. Once that process is done, you're gonna get a selection here for your network. Mine has two, yours will probably have one, so just select that and hit continue as well. Now we're gonna get a selection for the host name. So you name the host name, whatever you would like. This is for my Voron Switchwire, so I'm gonna name it Voron SW. Then we have the domain name. I'm just gonna hit continue and leave that blank. You can as well, or you can name something there. Then you have your root password. You do want to go ahead and enter something here. It has to match on both. So enter your password. Just do not forget it. Next up is we got to enter a full name for the new user. For this, I'm going to enter Clipper because that's what I'm going to be using this for. Then we just hit continue and we're going to enter a password for the user. You can use the same password here if you would like. It's up to you. You can make a different one. Just make sure these both match. And then after you enter that, hit continue. Next up here, we got time zone. So enter your time zone and then hit continue. Then we have the partition disk. Here I'm going to use guided use entire disk. Now the option comes up to select your disk. Make sure you select your proper drive, not your USB drive or something else you have here. So select your hard drive that you're gonna be installing this onto. We're gonna do all files in one partition. Then we get an overview of everything. We're gonna hit continue there and then we're gonna hit yes to write changes to the disk and continue again. Now to install the package manager, select your country, I'm United States for me. And then you need to select a mirror. I chose dev.dev.org. You can select a different one if it's not working well for you or select one of the mirrors. Hit continue as well. Then we have the good old popularity contest. You can select yes or no here, that's up to you. I'll leave that decision to you. Then hit continue. Next option we get here is software selection. For this situation, I'm just gonna be installing it for Clipper. That's all I need it for. So what I'm gonna do is select it only SSH server and standard system utilities. Deselect everything else. This is also up to you. If you wanna add other things in there, go for it. But for this case, all we need is SSH server and standard system utilities. Now we are officially done with the Debian 12 installation. Now we can treat this just like a regular Raspberry Pi Clipper installation. And what we're going to use is K-I-A-U-H. I'm not gonna to try to say that, but that's what it is, it works great. So we're gonna move on to that process now and here we go. Before we can go on to that, we actually have to log in here 
And we got to install a couple things. So I'm going to guide you through that process real quick. We got the base Linux installed. We just have to install some things that's not included. There's just going to be some packages that are missing. So we're going to have to install these. So we're going to log in as root first. So enter your root password here. Once you log in and you know you're on the right user, you're going to type SU. Now once I'm logged in, it shows root at Clipper. So now we can install these packages. So enter this in here. I've also included this in the description. I will run a sudo apt file update. So for here, we're going to need your IP address. So enter IP A S just like enter on screen here, hit enter here. You will see your network adapter popped up there and it's going to say INET. That right there is going to be your IP address. I will run USR SBIN user mod and we are going to export right after that. Next thing you're going to run here is sudo user mod dash AG. And this at the very end needs to be your user. So mine is Clipper. So I'm going to hit enter. Now enter groups, then your username again. As long as you see your username there, we can continue on to the next step. And that is going to be installing Clipper. So let's do that. Now we can use this tool, K-I-A-U-H is Clipper Installation and Update Helper. You're going to go here. I've got the link in the description for this. You're just going to log in with your user and password here. You're going to run the first command, which is going to download git. And you're going to run the second and the third, which is going to get everything running. And you'll have K-I-A-U-H-K-U-I. Now it comes up and asks you if you want to try out version 6. If you want to, just press 1. Now we're finally loaded into the menu. Install is 1. Press enter again. So you're going to do this in order. Basically, you're going to start with 1 and then go down through the numbers. So we're going to be installing Clipper first, but you do want to start at the top and work your way down. So start the lower numbers, like install Clipper, then Moonraker, and then start with the web interfaces and so on. So what I will be installing today will be Clipper, Moonraker, Main Cell, and Clipper Screen. If you want to install Crow's Nest for a webcam, you can. Or if you want to install Fluid instead of Main Cell, you can do that too. So just press 1 and then enter, and then it's going to ask you how many Clipper instances you want to set up. If it's just for one machine, you'll hit 1 and enter again. If you want to create an example printer config, hit Y here. If you don't and you already have your own printer config, just hit N. Now let it go through the installation process. Mine popped up and asked to add Clipper to the group, so you just want to hit Y if that comes up. And now we have Moonraker, so we're going to hit 2 for Moonraker and hit Enter. It's going to ask also if you want a Moonraker config. Hit Y for yes, N for no. Now we're back at the installation menu for the web interface. I'm going to hit 3 for main cell. I'm going to ask if you want to download the recommended main cell config. Y for yes, N for no. Go ahead and enter Y or N. Up to you. Now it's going to ask to configure the port. Default is 80. That's what I am, so I'm going to hit 80 and hit Enter. Let it go through its process. It's pretty quick on this one. Now we're back to the installation menu. We're going to do number 7 for Clipper Screen. If you have a touch screen, that's what you're going to want to do too. It's going to ask you now to install standalone. Press enter to default. Just press enter here or Y for yes and then enter. Here you're going to want to install X surface. Just press enter there. It's asking now to install Network Manager for the network panel. Press Y for yes. Now it's just letting you know that you are using additional space. Just press Y and continue. So if you install Clipper Screen as well, it's going to come up like this. It's trying to boot into the Clipper Screen. That's good. We're going to open up a web browser and see if we can log into our main cell. Open up the browser here and enter the IP address. If you don't have it, you can get that from your router. Just look on your router, log into it, and you'll see that the device's name is connected to it. Or you can also enter with the hostname.local. Sometimes that doesn't seem to work, though. The IP address wants to work better. And there it is. We have connected to main cell, and we have our device. All it needed to be done now is you can just plug this into your printer. There we go. We've installed Clipper on a mini PC. You can do this with a virtual machine or whatever other kind of machine, old computer you have. Just follow the same steps that you just seen in this guide. Now this just has to be hooked up to a printer. I'm going to hook it up to my switch wire over here that I've converted from an Ender 3 into a switch wire. So Also, we do live streams on this channel every week. Two times a week, one on Saturday at 12 p.m. Eastern Time and one on Tuesday at 8 p.m. We also have giveaways on there. We do something really cool. We have build something every single week. Make sure you get on there and join us sometime. Don't forget to hit the like button on this and subscribe, share, 
Let me know in the comments, what firmware are you running? Are you running Clipper? Is there any RepRap people out there left? Marlon, what do you got? What machines are you running? Leave in the comments for me. I would love to hear it. Until next time, see you all. Have a great week.